grab your popcorn, kick back and relax, because it's time for some more carnage. So, in today's video, uh, we have another Foxtrot Unboosted Solo to show, and actually something that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, so, this is the task force, so you can see it is a five-man group, so the operations are scaled the same. So, before we show the attack on Distortion, which was a solo, I want to show this attack on Orbifold. Really sick attack, unboosted. Um, we fell short of about 70,000 health, and we were relying on battle orders to get that extra bit of damage so we could get the solo. So we get the mine clear there with a barrage and an artillery shell. Uh, a really smart way to get some cells, we drop one boat of heavies first, which uh, distracts all the rockets, and then all our Zookas, which gets all these cells here, and pay very close attention to Brick. When she throws her grenade, because when she targets a new building, she throws that grenade at the uh, the cells. So you can see that there's a flare placed here, and Brick is not moving. Now what happens there, when Brick goes to throw a grenade at like a cell or a new building or whatever, when she's in the process of doing that passive ability of hers, she ignores flares. So until she finishes throwing that grenade, she will not follow a flare. For the life of her, she just won't. And that's a problem. So what we, what really should have happened there is we sort of drop her a bit late, like until we were ready to sort of place the flare up, and then just place the flare so she didn't, she wouldn't have had enough time to do any of this. Um, but, yeah, that, that's a real shame. So, four times, take, takes a bit of mine, mines there, um, one on each side, so pretty much all the Zookas wind up getting damaged. Uh, critter box, three shocks, and watch this. So, pretty crazy, we get a lot of damage off here. Oh, sorry, that was actually four shocks. I didn't see the ones underneath there. Um... So you can see, we fell just short. The annoying thing is, as I said, if Brick had not have ignored that flare, she would have been up there and we would have got barrel orders off and more than enough to get the solo. So anyone that says, because you guys seen how many rockets were on that layout, anyone that says that Orbifold is not possible unboosted on Foxtrot clearly is a liar because if Brick had not have ignored that flare, we would have had an Orbifold solo on in a very hard layout. So that actually triggered us quite a bit. Um, Tika was the one that did the hit and he was upset. I wound up fa failing sliding block literally because I forgot to deploy brick in time. So when I deployed it, uh, it took her too long to go up the field and wind up losing my delay and it screwed me quite badly. Um, so... You can see the, uh, the the boat ratio there, the unboosted stats. So we'll jump into distortion and we will see how this goes. So same kill spot as usual. You can see this is a hard distortion compared to usual. We got mortars, we got rockets with range, we got more rockets with range. No, those ones are out of range. Uh, we got some more rockets up here. Two shock launches, and to be honest, I think that's actually harder. Rocket placement, usually you'll see two rockets here, and all these are snipers. Uh, I think that's harder, because normally you'd flare in between the shock launches and the boom cannons, which would make you out of range of the rockets. Uh, so you've seen the path there. Oh, well, actually, you didn't. I, I, will, I will go back and show that, because I, I do apologize for that. So, one, two, three, four shocks. Critters. Oh, well, no, no critters, sorry. Heavies at the front just to absorb the rocket fire from these. And boom, the core goes down. Uh, let's see the ice. 196 for building health. And 51% for building damage. Uh, also, the Orbifold hit before. That had 840,000 health, I do believe. I will show that, just just so you guys can see the ice on that too, in case you were interested. 
Actually, I'll just show that. Yeah, 844k. Uh, so we'll go back and watch the distortion path. So I did, sorry, I, I wasn't, I was sort of trying to do everything at once there in the replay. Uh, so, we'll just two times it. Just so you guys can see the exact flare, pl flare placement. Uh, so, going off the beach, flare straight up there. And artillery's one of the mines. Uh, so, Izukas did take some damage there. I've, I'm not sure whether he lost some. Uh, level 20 mine, so no, he wouldn't have. You can take a level 22 mine without... It takes a level 22 mine to actually kill Zookas when you don't have troop health, so... Um, shouldn't have lost any there. But either way, he got the solo. Really nice attack on Distortion, and a real honest-to-God shame with Orbifold. Um, I was really hoping we'd get Orbi. Because, there was, I can't remember who said it in the comments on one of my last videos... That I actually uploaded. Someone was saying that like. Actually no it wasn't on my video. It was on the forums. Yeah I was having a conversation with someone. I think it was uh, pinging. And he was like oh you can't do overfold on Foxrite unboosted. And you can't do assembly unboosted. And you can't do this unboosted. And you can't do that unboosted. And I was like dude. Orbi is a really easy solo unboosted. Normally, you don't have as many rockets as this version freaking had, but I've done Curtain Call on a 50 man. I think it was a 50 man. Yeah. I've done I've done uh, Orbi on a, on Curtain Call. It had like over 900,000. It had like nearly a million health, and I did that unboosted with, with troop health. With Zookas. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smack the thumbs up button. Tell me what you thought in the comments down below. Uh, always welcome feedback, as long as it's constructive. If you're being mean, I don't like that. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I thought you guys would enjoy the Orbi, Orbi attack anyway. Um, I know it wasn't a solo. But I thought you guys would enjoy it, because some, some people think that you can't do the hard versions of these bases unboosted. This sort of shows that you can. Providing Boom Beach doesn't screw you over with constant glitches. Because that actually is a glitch. The fact that she doesn't follow the flare while she's doing a passive ability, that is a glitch. Uh, so hopefully sometime this year we actually do get a fix for that. That'd be nice. Uh, Supercell have released a statement saying they... Acknowledge the fact that the passive abilities aren't working properly. They have a fix. We will get it next update. Um, but that doesn't entail what they consider to be problems. It Obviously, Eversparks, uh, critters don't spawn at the right time. Sergeant Brick's grenade doesn't do the right damage. And they might just fix that and call it a day. So we don't know at this stage whether they're going to fix all the problems with heroes. Um, it'd be nice for them to fix all the problems, um, but we don't know if they will, so hopefully this is one of the fixes, because that, when, when it takes, when you have to get all the intel on your own, and no one will help you get intel for an operation, it takes you a week to get intel, and then something as gut-wrenching as that happens to you, it hurts, so hopefully they fix these, these glitches, and Hopefully you guys enjoyed the attack anyway, because that is the purpose of why I sacrifice having no operation rewards and I work like all week to get intel so I can do an operation to try to get some more footage. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one.